Hello again, it's Priscilla Battelle in Spring Hill, Florida at Expression Studio Gallery in the backyard. And I have some paint that I let get gloppy and then I came and added some more paint and I thought I would use it and I didn't use it. And so I've still got some paint. <laughs> and what I'm going to do is, um, what am I going to do? I'm going to put some white paint right in the middle and I'm going to use my OXO omelet turning spatula. And I'm going to spread it out in both directions so that as much of the canvas that was naked is covered with a thin layer of wet paint as I can make it. And I'm going to think, oop, I got some down the side, which is fine. I'll just touch that up. I'm going to spread that the other way. It spreads really thin with this. This is an OXO omelet turning spatula, the best paint spreading tool you're going to find anywhere. It's available in two different sizes. It's on the Amazon link in blue below show more underneath my video. And uh, it kicks some. But when it comes to paint spreading, I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to do, but I am going to knock off any residuals and I'm probably going to have paint over that paint. I've got a piece of chain in my hand. I don't know what I'm going to do with that yet. But um, I do have colors and I do want to do a sky. And I have been just adding colors from, uh, from ring pour containers. But I really just want to try and do a different way do this a different way. Articulate. <laughs> Whoa! Okay, well that didn't go in the paint and that's cool. That's my torch in the way. Almost in my painting. And uh, maybe just a little bit more. That's in need of being shaken. And unclogged. Let's find a bamboo skewer. All my paints are pre-mixed with Floetrol and Deco art pouring medium and GAC 800. The recipe is underneath the video. That's going to have to be resolved. I want something else over there. And I put some magenta in my last painting and I liked it a lot. And I am being fast and loose with paint. I don't have a lot of time. It is really hot out here. And I want a really light pale blue. And I know I have one somewhere. There it is. Oh, and I made it a metallic. It's got some bubbles in it, and uh, we'll ream out anything we need to. Now, instead of getting... I was going to... I was just going to dump it, but I think I'm going to grab one of my little shovels from the dollar store. And take half of that. I'll take all of it. I'll just... Take as much of it as I can. Let's add some more green to that. because we're going to be tipping. Uh, that's turquoise. That's some more green. That's some more green that needs to be fixed. I have, look, I found another container. <laughs> and a lump. I wonder if that lump is viable. Nope, that lump is no longer viable. Now it's gone. So we're all set. Good. Good enough, I think. She said, not sure at all. <laughs> I'm going to use a Princeton Art Tool Catalyst Spatula. There's going to be way more paint than I need, but what I'm thinking is, lumps aside, that I can do something that I've been doing recently, and that's tip everything down. I'm not sure how that's going to go. I should have left a larger space in the middle between the two, but uh, I do need an edge catcher. Edge catchers are just a plastic fill, to fill in a uh, protective layer on a 16 by 20 pack of value pack of canvases from Michael. I'm going to cant that on an angle so I don't get too much of it running down my arm and let it all run down. And then back and I'm going to rock it so that it has a chance to cover. I'm going to grab anything that looks like it's too thick to be usable. And I'm going to remember that I have shorter edge catchers. And then I can also use my Princeton Art Tool Catalyst spatulas to, uh, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to notice that I put a lot more paint at the bottom and that I want all that paint at the top to be more evenly dispersed and to flow toward that edge. And I'm going to let everything flow toward that edge and I hope this works. And I am making a mess, but it's also kind of cool. And it was going to get wasted anyway. I'm going to tip that over. 
gonna put that edge catcher behind me. And then I think I'm gonna pull out a Princeton art tool. Excuse me. I'm gonna pull out my Oxo spatula. And I'm gonna swipe that sky right into place because I can. The name of my book on the Amazon link. And I've got plenty of paint to let it fall right over the side. And plenty of paint to maybe make it tip if I want to. And I do want to. I'm going to hold on to this other side. Use my new edge catcher. Not so new. <laughs> Let it pull down and flow back. And flow up again. And over. I even have a little tiny red sun in the middle. That's so cute. Look at that. That's adorable. So, now I have paint on my edge catcher. Oh, well, that particular paint needs to go in there. I need to wipe off my spatula, grab the pink from the sky, make sure my paint's out of the way, and let this relax right down on the top of that. More accidental art I don't think you're going to find. We've got some cool stuff going on in the sky. I think I can probably... Do I want to risk a spatula? What do I want to do? I had some nice cells for a second. I want some paint to go down over the top of the canvas, the edge, so it becomes cohesive with the rest of it. And I've got plenty of paint to match that paint on my tile, on my spatula, on my edge catcher and it's flowing pretty nicely. I like purple. <laughs> purple skies do not hurt my feelings a bit. I've even got some white clouds in there. I've got some drips going down. I can scoop up those drips with my finger and use them. My edges are pretty well covered. If I need to do something else as far as below in the land area-ish, whatever it is, um, I think spatulas are ready to go in the bucket. I'm just going to wipe up some of my tile really quickly while I watch that drip. I like that white cloud up there. I'm very tempted to take advantage of that and add some more of it, actually. I think I like the white so much I'm going to do that. And I'm going to experiment for a second. before I wind up swiping that into place because I want to see what the basting brush does. I'd also like to see what the chain does. Basically I lost all that <laughs> but it's not a bad thing because I can still see that it didn't hurt anything. I like the, the cells that are popping everywhere in the sky. I don't mind any of this over here. It kind of looks like the sky and the land are merging a little bit. She says that and then she changes it all again. My sun needs to go somewhere. It's not... Yes, so I'm going to just use the spatula to move that, that land. Let the sky fall down right in there where that sun is. And all that just makes me want to do is add a few dribbles of orange because that sun is so cute. <laughs> it's just adorable. Um, in order to do that cautiously, I think I'm going to put it on my bamboo skewer. And run it through just a little here and a little there. I don't think that's a bad thing at all. I don't mind if they mix a little bit, so long as they don't mix too much. When they mix too much, they start to become brown. But I think that's perfect. That's, that's fine by me. And if I really wanted it to be super perfect, I could probably just encapsulate it. Or make it bigger, which I may or may not be happy about in a moment. Let's just be happy about it. Sometimes loving your painting just comes down to a choice. I suggest you make the choice to love it because 
Otherwise, you just wasted a whole bunch of paint. I like that paint around the sun. It is kind of larger now. I still want a torch to release the bubbles in the paint. It's a lot more abstract than some. I see that lump that does not belong that I probably let there from the from the glopping, the drying while I was in the house. I'm not sure about that pink or what it would represent, but um, I feel okay about dragging some stuff out so much so that I could either use the fork or the basting brush. I haven't really hurt too much with the basting brush, but there's a first time for everything and I don't want this to be the time. But I like the, the marks it makes actually quite a bit. If you use judiciously, you can get away with a bunch. I'm not sure about that here. I'm going to throw that in the bucket so I don't play with it anymore. I like my sun to stay round. Kind of like some yellow up in that sky. I haven't used any. And I'm not sure it's as good an idea as it sounds like. I got a little bit of color left. I can try it. I can probably lose it too. Hmm. I can also make it go away when I don't want it. I say that now, <laughs> but I'm not sure that that's the case. Okay, no yellow next time. Surprised it's making a green color, but I guess there's some. Uh... Let's not worry about that, shall we? I got nice cells. I'm going to torch. I'm going to call it good. I'm going to show it to you on the way there. I could probably curly cue some of those clouds, but I kind of like them the way they are. Just pulled right out like little whiffs. Torch to release the bubbles in the paint. I've said that before. We torch to hopefully enhance the little cells. And if you see a lump, grab a lump. And I will be looking. I will go stand in the sunshine after this because I'm outside. And uh, look across the canvas and see if I missed any lumps. Loving the colors in here. Even though I usually like cells, I don't want that one because it with the circle above it that is supposed to be the sun. So shop my Amazon link below the video in the blue link under show more and you help me out at no added cost to you and I really appreciate it. If you wouldn't mind, if you like seeing my videos every day or often, you encourage me to make more and continue on by watching longer watching them longer, including some of the commercials. That was green, I did not mean to do that. And giving me a thumbs up, both of those things. Oh, we got a little waterfall over there, cool. I should not be doing that upside down, but we do have a little waterfall over there, that's very cool. You can always drag a skewer through to make a better line of demarcation for sure. It's just once the paint starts to do what it wants, especially in little circles, it makes it kind of tough to undo it again. I like all the abstract markings in the painting, except for that one right there. So uh, if you want to shop my merchandise, you can shop right under the video. That's my stuff. You can go to Facebook albums. Excuse me, Facebook pages, Expressionist Art Studio Gallery and Expressionist Art Studio Totes and more, and you'll find all kinds of stuff that I made. It's all gone over the years to Fine Art America, and um, not everything is there. And if you ever find something you do want there, made into a t-shirt or something else, let me know. 
You can even tell me which place you'd like me to have it produced at, because I will comply with that. I'm very interested in knowing what you guys love. So if you tell me, I do something about it pretty much every time. I do sell my original artwork. I see that thing that does not belong. I'm getting better at that, seeing that thing, those things that do not belong all the time. Um, I do sell my artwork if you want to inquire through YouTube. I'd be happy to get back to you with an email. If you are in Florida and near the Spring Hill area, and, or you're going to be, you're more than welcome to have a lesson if you so desire, and I will give you an email and we'll talk about that too. I love you guys. There's over 70,000 of you, probably 71,000 or even more by now, depending on when I post this, because every single painting has a date at the end of it, and oh, that was green. That was so not what I wanted to do right there. So I'm going to take some other paint and make that go away right now. So yes, there are dates and file numbers for the photographs. I'm going to wipe off this skewer before I stick it in there again, just in case I do something stupid like that again. I don't think I can really hurt this. I say that now. But you should never stick your skewer back in after you've started to um, torch. Because it, it's you're working with gloppy paint that's going to have... going to leave a mark. So I'm not sure what I've forgotten. I want to say thank you guys for all the contributions that have kept me painting in the past. And if you'd like to be entered in this month's contest and you make a contribution, you will be automatically. I will send you a receipt of that contribution along with pictures of this month's prizes. But if you want to see the prizes and not do that, you can go to the end screens in the last 20 seconds of this video and you will find currently, at least when I'm making this, currently you will find um, an exhibition of 10 by 10s and the prizes to choose from this month are 10 by 10s. And um, I'm just busy looking for any parts on my edges that might be a problem. I like how I get accidental waterfalls every time. This is so cool. Just makes me want to spread that waterfall out a little more. Probably not a good idea. But maybe it is. <laughs> so it looks like we got a lot of sky reflection on something. Maybe it's the river running down this way. So you guys ought to have a chance to look at that again before I go. This is Priscilla Batzel in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery in the backyard saying Facebook has two groups. One is Expressionist Art Studio Gallery fans and collectors. You can join if you want to. And you can see the albums of wet and dry artworks that I've managed to compile in there so far. And the other one is Expressionist Art Studio Gallery appreciation for people who are students and are sharing their work and their there are paint adventures. We've got one uncovered piece of canvas. I will see you anon. I love you guys. Come back soon. There's over 700 videos to watch on the end screens. If you wait for the last 20 seconds, you'll find them all. And my website. I'll see you soon. Bye for now. Priscilla out. Wait, can I zoom in? I talk a lot. <laughs>